Over the weekend here in Lexington, the Lexington Humane Society hosted Bark Bash, an event to raise money and awareness and promote adoptions and fosters. But it was one pup in attendance who stole the show because it's a miracle he's even here at all. It's a sunny October afternoon at the Moonlight Amphitheater in Lexington. The park overflowing with dogs for Lexington Humane Society's Bark Bash. Lots of them looking for a permanent or temporary home. And while many of them were dressed in costumes to celebrate spooky season, the nightmare for Cooper is now over. He lost his back leg. We're trying our hardest to save his front leg since they were damaged on the same side. During a home invasion at his previous owner's home, Cooper was shot three times. His back leg had to be amputated, and he's not out of the woods just yet. They're trying to save his front leg on the same side, which is now in splints. He's undergone multiple surgeries. It's just a miracle he's alive, really, but he's, uh, yeah, we're trying to save him. Katie Stess, the special events manager for the Lexington Humane Society, says Cooper was very close to not surviving the surgery. I'm as close as you can possibly get. It's... Again, truly a miracle that he's alive. He, anyone, anything being shot three times probably should not be up and walking around, let alone as happy as he is. So it's it's truly impressive. And while the incident may have left him broken physically, Cooper still has not lost his faith in people. Cooper, we've never seen like a sad face on him. He's always happy to see everybody. He's happy to give you kisses. He's got the best disposition of any dog here. He's always wagging his tail. He loves everyone that he comes in contact with. It, he is truly a good example of how humans don't deserve dogs. Asa Wildenstein, an adoption specialist, says if you can't foster or adopt, donations are critical to keeping their operation running and providing emergency care to dogs like Cooper. His surgery was a lot of money, and unfortunately, we rely on donations for most of our funding for just day-to-day -day basis um, things. So being able to have that extra money to give him the medical care he needs is everything. 